Welcome to Fanny Magnet and right now in this video I'll explain you what is a Tor browser and how you can use it and what is the use of the Tor browser. So before we start, in order to download the Tor browser you have to go to this link. The link is in below description. Once you go on the link you have to click on download Tor browser and you will get set up which will look something like this. Now. Once you have a setup, double click on that, click run, select the language, click OK and install. So as you can see that I have got an icon of a Tor browser. So when, when you will click on that, you know, that icon, it will say that connect and configure. So if you are using a normal internet LAN or Wi-Fi, you just have to click on connect and it will do all the job now let's get started what exactly is a tor browser tor browser it is a uh, it is more look like a firefox but it is used for anonymous browsing for example as if you are sitting in a particular country and you are trying to access some information about anything the link from your computer goes directly to that particular server and gives you the information but what Tor browser do is it throw your connection from one country to different country different to different country it do it like three to four times and then it fetch that particular information so that's how the Tor browser work now before I start let me tell you that Tor browser it is uh, used for anonymous browsing and if you are into a project of particular like that the first thing you have to understand never minimize the Tor browser just close it and open it that's all you have to do and also do not maximize the Tor browser because that will have a little impact on your security the reason is when you maximize the Tor browser it will fetch that particular website will fetch the screen resolution of your computer so it will and they will understand that you are using a computer what kind of screen you have and probably the model of the computer or the laptop so never maximize the Tor browser always use in this form only and do not also minimize it so you can just open it and close it that's the best way to use a Tor browser now there are two reasons for using a Tor browser one as I said you for the anonymous browsing and second one is for browsing a dark web now if you do not know what exactly the dark web is check out my other videos where I have explained you what exactly is the dark dark web so now as you can see I'm on Google page okay let me close this and I am right now on Google page and if you will click here you can see that from this browser it, the link goes to, you know went to Germany then France then Romania then internet it means to get this page this browser browser you know took me to Germany France Romania and then it went to the Google server so it will be very difficult for the you know if someone is trying to track you that what kind of uh, what kind of things you are browsing what kind of information you are collecting from the internet this is very good if you are a journalist if you are a reporter if you are doing a project which is which you want to keep a secret okay because it will be difficult for the people to track what exactly you search every day so this is a one good use of the this Tor browser and the second as I said it is used for dark web browsing now just to give, let me give you a little quick view on what exactly how, how you can exactly access the dark web link here is a link which I have I have saved this link in the description here you will get thousands of different link for dark web so let me open that 
so uh, you need to understand that uh, the dark web when you are trying to open a dark web link it does not work on the standard browser like google chrome mozilla or internet explorer you need to have this particular browser in order to access in order to serve for dark web the reason is the extension what the dark web has it is not in dot com or dot in its onions okay so let me open just I'll open one link and show you what exactly this is mm, this is let's see okay now you can see that on this link you can get a get a US fake ID stores okay so let's try to browse this site and let's find out what's there browsing a dark web you can see US fake driver license and this kind of information you can buy it for 200 USD and 0.30 Bitcoin okay I'm not sure how much this if you real if you will pay you will really get or not okay because this is completely scam kind of thing this is completely Ill illegal so even if this scam you you will not able to fight with them using a law because you are going into the things which are itself illegal so this kind of information you get on the dark web now you need to understand that in the, on the dark web most of the activity happens are illegal so and also very disturbing so I will always ask you to keep uh, keep yourself away from the the dark web let me try to access Yahoo so when I s when I go to yahoo.com let me check how it is going now okay you see that it this browser went to Germany then United Kingdom then again Germany and then internet so the information what I'm getting here it is it is completely in different language which I really which is uh, not related with English okay so that's how this browser works and and if you think this video is worth watching hit the like button if you have any query comment down below and as always thank you for watching the video